As all of you know, we use the cuff to measure blood pressure in inpatients. And that can be okay in a good way to monitor blood pressure. But in ICU where we have critically ill patients or those patients after high risk procedures like cabbages or major surgeries, we need a different way to continuously and accurately measure the blood pressure. And that's why we use arterial line in ICU. Arterial line from its name, it's a catheter that we put in an artery to continuously and accurately measure the blood pressure. How the arterial line works, what are other clinical uses other than measuring blood pressure, and how to troubleshoot some problem with the arterial line, how to read the waveform of the arterial line, how to know from just looking the screen, at the screen that the patient has an arterial line, and how to respond to, respond to some of the real life questions that you receive or phone calls you receive from nurses about problem with the arterial line and how do you use how do we use arterial line in code blue situation all of this we'll discuss it right now so stay with me and let's dive in okay arterial line as you see here we having a catheter in going into the artery this is the artery so it sits directly into the artery this catheter here is connected to this tubing system that has no, a column of normal saline that's coming from this pressurized bag. This bag is pressurized, I believe, to a 300 millimeter Hg or something high. So the catheter here detect the oscillation in blood pressure volume or waves based on systole and diastole and the pressure will be picked by the column of saline here now this is unreadable to us so that's why there is a transducer the transducer convert this oscillation to a waveform we see on the monitor like this one and to a number of that we could read the blood pressure number so that's how arterial lines work and um, so as you could could tell we could have a problem we'll come to that later from the malpositioning of the catheter right that's one thing all a problem in the tubing system an air bubble or long tubing or short tubing or a blood clot all these can cause a problem uh, in reading the blood pressure and in the waveform the way it uh, looks. Again, this can be placed in any artery, but usually the most common places that we use in ICU are three. Radial, I think it's the most common one, radial arterial line, brachial arterial line, and femoral arterial line. The kit for femoral is different from the one we use for radial and brachial. But at the end, all of them work at the same time. I have to say that systolic blood pressure or diastolic blood uh, pressure can be a bit different from artery to artery. So if you put this in aorta, it will give you numbers of systolic and diastolic blood pressure a bit different from femoral or from radial. But the map remain the same. Map is the mean arterial blood pressure. So please keep that in mind. And that's why when we titrate vasopressors, we said titrate to a mean arterial blood pressure for example 60 or 65 for that reason so we don't have to worry whether the catheter was in radial or brachial or femoral 